Hi everyone, I'm Devin and this is Quick Programming. Today we're going to talk about Azure Service Bus, specifically about queues and topics. Queues offer first in, first out message delivery to one or more recipients. While many recipients may get messages from the queue, each message is only processed once. Topics are similar to queues in some ways. They perform as an intermediary for data, but they're a bit more advanced. Where queues can only send to one consumer, topics can send to any consumer that's subscribed to it, so one message can end up at multiple recipients. All right, enough yakking. Let's build an app that utilizes queues. Hey everyone, so here I am in Azure. I'm gonna click new and type in service bus. You'll wanna pick the Microsoft Publish service bus and hit the create button. Let's give it a unique name. I'll name mine Devin's bus. For the pricing tier, I'm gonna choose basic as I'll only be working with queues for this demo. Once you've entered in the resource group, go ahead and pin to dashboard and create. This will take a few minutes, not too long. Once your service bus is finished deploying, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. Go ahead and click the add queue button and give it any old name that you want. You can pick the size. I'm going to keep mine at one gig and I'll leave the defaults for everything else as I don't need anything special for right now. You can see if you click on the queues down here that your new queue will show up and you can go into your key. The thing that we're going to pay attention to the most is this active message count. So let's switch gears and get into Visual Studio. The first thing that I'm going to do is create a console application and I'm just going to name it Writer. What this is going to do is write into our queue. Typically what you'd have is a scenario where your application produces some sort of data output and that's what you would write to the queue. And then a recipient would read the queue and then process the data that you put in. The first thing that you'll want to do is right click on Writer and go into Manage NuGet Packages. We'll want to go over to Browse and install the service bus. Once that's done, the hard part's really over. Writing and reading to a queue is very simple. Here's the program that'll shoot a message to our queue. For the connection string and queue name, I grabbed those from Azure. If you go back into Azure, you can see that under your service bus, there's a shared access policies. Go into the root manage shared access key and you'll want to pick your connection string primary key. As for the queue name, if you don't remember it, you can go into overview and then your queue name will be right there. So what we do from there on is we create a connection to our queue and then we read from our console input. So somebody has typed something and then hit enter and and then we create a brokered message and we input that string. You can see that it takes any object that's serializable. And then all we do is call the client's send method and pass in whatever value that we want. And there it is. We publish to the queue. Let me run this and then I'll show you. Here's the basic application. It looks pretty blank, but all you have to do is type in whatever you want. It'll accept and you can hit any key and it'll close the console window. Now let's write our reader method. It'll read from the queue and display it in the console. For the sake of simplicity, I'm creating another console program and I'm naming it reader. You can go into the writer and just copy these first three lines in the main method. And you see that we have an error and that's because we haven't, we haven't installed the service bus package yet. Here's the code that'll read from the queue and hopefully process the data. Like I said before, these first three lines are exactly the same as the writer. And then here's the difference. We call the clients.onMessage method, and that's essentially a listener. And what'll happen is whenever we get a message from the queue, we'll process it by writing out the message body and the message ID. And then we'll call read line just to stop the console from closing down. I'm going to run it and show you the results. All right, here you can see message body equals hello and message ID is some crazy value. That was it. If I hit enter, the console window will close and we're done. We're, we've completed our simple code. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like what you've seen, hit the like button. If you really like what you've seen, then hit the subscribe button too. I really enjoyed making this tutorial. It was really fun and simple. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'll see you later.